Hi, this is Dr. Moore, and today I'm going to talk about another great device by the company Arthrex called the Plantar Plate Repair System. Uh, this system has a complete kit uh, with pre-packaged entities, and it's, it's mainly designed to fix the plantar plate rupture, which causes the second toe to be dislocated upward. So some patients with the forefoot pain that come in the office will push the foot this way, rupturing this plantar plate at the bottom, and thus pulling the toe upwards and a partial dislocation. Well, they're miserable. They're absolutely miserable to get back down. In the old days, we put wires in them, we put uh, joint implants, uh, we did everything to fuse, fuse the joint, the toe up in the air, we did everything. But now, we can recreate the collateral ligaments here on the side and pull it down with this kit. What's unique is the difficulties about fixing this have been uh, avoided now with, with, these, with equipment from Arthrex, and this is the distractor. So if I, if I drill a pin here in the head and a pin here at the toe, to get in this joint, it's very hard to fix the plate below, which is the soft tissue down here that holds the toe downwards. Well, we slide this device over the wires, and then if you come tighten up here on this screen, as I clamp it and spread it like that, it spreads the toe open so I can get in there. And speaking of getting in there, this is a fantastic device, the Scorpion. You can lean underneath where this ruptured plate is here, I'll illustrate with the sheet, and clamp this together and pass a needle through and then put the, uh, and put the um, fiber wire through that to be able to tie it back down to the toe before you drill the holes. So this is a great device. And if you don't want to use that, uh, on the patient coming up that I filmed the surgery, you can use this pigtail device. And the pigtail device is pretty cool because it's just a simple all-in-one sharp tip and you can pertain this to the plate, pass it through. And once I pass it through the plate, pull it upwards and then pass the night and all loop open like that. And with that in place, we can take the suture and pass it through, pull the night and all loop down, reverse it, and voila, we're through the planter plate. So that being said, with the scorpion or the pigtail, with the planter plate having the suture in place, we can now drill, it, drill the holes uh, in the proximal phalanx here and here. So we'll do two sutures, one on this side, one on this side. Drill a hole here, drill a hole here. Once the sutures come out, we tie uh, the toe down by passing the needle passer here through the bone and fishing this suture here up and through the top. So it'll be a suture coming out the top here and here. We simply tie it down. The toe comes down in a natural format and uh, stays down there, and of course the plantar plate repairs. The patient you're about to see is a unique patient, and her foot, this fourth toe, this joint was torn this way in an accident, hitting it against a bedpost, and it stayed like that. So we'll make an incision between the third and fourth toes here, use the pigtail, pass this through the fourth toe, which is splayed out this way, and then we drill the hole, in the proximal phalanx here, fished it through, and then tied this side of the toe down out here and swung it in. So again, the suture was down here, we tied up, we drilled a hole here, and when we tied this together, it swung the toe over, loaded the foot when the foot was spreading out like this, and it was normal, and it came out great, not only function-wise, but cosmetically. So there's another indication for the plantar plate repair, which is the splaying of these toes, uh, which you can see in a lot of women's sandals uh, and open-toed shoes if you look closely uh, when you're walking around in public. So great new indication. Uh, again, I highly recommend the set. Let's go watch the surgery.